Hello everybody, my name is Lovebot, and to my right we have... I'm RDV for East of World. And on commentary we have... Hey, I'm Dusler. Our big special guest. Uh, yeah, <laughs> an, an old runner we kind of ran into here at the event, uh, didn't really know about before. Uh, so that was perfect. We have somebody who knows the game, who can commentary a bit, because everything is very fast paced. There's a lot to cover uh, and the run is incredibly short. So we'll just be blasting our way through it and uh, Dusler will help us with commentary as we go along. So if RDV is ready, I am very ready. I to am. Go. I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready to go whenever. Okay, let's go in three, two, one, go. And good luck, man. Good luck, dude. Good luck, fellas. Thank you, thank you. So yeah, this is uh, Yoshi's story. If you notice here, there's actually four stages to choose from. They just are choosing to pick one and revealing their lucky fruit, which actually doesn't have any bearing. Selecting the green Yoshi just because it's easy. You don't have to move the cursor. It's also You'll faster. <laughs> um, like the Yoshi itself is not, but the animation of him going off the screen yeah. is slightly faster. So the objective here is that they're going to be picking up 30 fruit as quickly as possible to advance to the next level. Um, you'll notice that quite a few times when they're jumping that their tongue is going to be slinging back and forth. So that's a, a small glitch called tongue jumping where if they're in the air and they mash B, you actually incrementally gain height as you're jumping with your tongue out. So slight mishap there from Lovebot, unfortunately. Yeah, I'll have to get a back up fruit. It's all good. So uh, now he is, they are both super happy, and you can see the kind of life meter up at the top left, that flower is just radiating. Um, this gives them the ability to do ground pounds and uh, have enemies drop fruit, and also later on we'll see that it turns the enemies into fruit. So decent level for both. That went okay. So here is a, a very important thing that you're going to see in RDV's side of the screen first. Uh, and, and the reason, if you can see them with consoles on, on a chair here, uh, they're actually going to be resetting as soon as the score is tallied, and that skips the animation of the storybook opening to the second page. So the level design in this game is that you saw the first four stages on page one. Um, I lost monitor. I can't see. Yeah, oh, we're... my God. That just happened. <laughs> uh, my Wii shut off. It's my Wii that shut off. There's not. It's not the money. It's, it's my Wii. Unfortunate. Yeah. Just. I mean, we do have time in the estimate to restart, but I'm not gonna put uh, that on RDV. Oh no! If you if if there's time to restart, I don't want to win like this. We have, we have 15 <laughs> minutes to estimate. Both our PBs are sub 12s. Yeah. So. Uh, and very consistent, Edgy. Let me know if I gotta do that. <laughs> I, I I would be. Otherwise, I'd have to restart this entire. Okay, I'm that. I'm super sorry about that. It's fine. Thank you, RDV. Very <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very gracious of you. That's awesome. Yeah, give me give me a clap for that one. <laughs> I gotta get rid of my do safe. I, do I, I need to quick. stop the timer for it to restart? Okay. Also, I'd like to check uh, which button is for, for Wu, because like I'm two should be yours, right? Yeah, like like runner two button is right next to me, but uh, like there's a one next to my name on stream. Oh right, yeah, that's yeah. actually kind of important that we f know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll we'll figure it out. All right. Oh, let. Yeah, yeah, we, we should be good. Should oh yeah, no, it his it was his console. Yeah, it, it wasn't the. Yeah, and it, it was yeah. my mistake. My mistake. Oh, you hit the round button. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We, we're good. Three, two, one, go. All right. Good luck, right, guys. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. So like like I was explaining, the uh, <laughs> the stages you can select here are one, two, three, and four. So they're going to the second stage because it's faster, and with the Yoshi's, same thing goes off screen it's the fastest option so um, later on you'll see as well they they're gonna be picking up hearts that allow you to unlock those stages in later pages if you don't actually pick up anything the only stage that's available to pick up is the first um, another really cool trick that they do here you'll notice they ground pound to get fruits to pop up they do what's called a dustless ground pound whenever possible. And uh, that when you normally ground pound, you'll see a plume of dust come up. And that's actually much slower than uh, when they do the dustless one. And you'll see that it's very close to the ground and allows them to jump up and keep movement immediately. 
Uh, a big part of this game is whenever you use Yoshi's tongue when you're on the ground, he actually stops moving. So you'll see them running, jumping, turning back, grabbing fruits from behind them just so they can keep that forward momentum going. Yeah, and I had quite a mishap here on one uh, dash two again, but not too far behind. Yep, not a big deal. Plenty of time left. Uh, we got time for a donation if you want to throw yeah, one this in. Yeah, would be a perfect time. Absolutely. We've got a $50 donation from Anonymous, and they're putting that towards the Land of Illusion, starting Mickey Mouse uh, donation incentive for them to uh, collect all Power Stars. Thank you, Anonymous. Yeah, thank you. That's a nice one. Good game. All right, so right here on uh, page two, you can see on RDV, he's going to be going to the infamous Blarg's Boiler. This stage is kind of when uh, when people start running, they, they start to understand that Yoshi's story isn't a game for kids anymore. <laughs> oh, for sure. It looks <laughs> terrifying, dude. Did you see that Blarg? It's the scariest he's ever looked. So the, the movement that they have coming in here as well, the Blarg is designed to be a stopping point. So you're supposed to shoot him with eggs to actually get rid of him to get out of your way. But using that tongue jump that you saw in the first uh, or surprise stage in 1-2, they can actually just get over Blarg without stopping. And there is quite a few hidden fruits here. Um, another big thing in this level is when you're shooting the bubbles. If you miss those fruits, they'll actually fall into the lava. Um, and enemies that they're grabbing, Yoshi can actually swallow and create an egg. So you'll see them doing that occasionally as well. It's quicker than using the egg box. All the eggs, uh, you can hold up to six. And you'll rarely even casually have that many so nice. you'll see these guys with one or two <laughs> nice level from rdv yeah this uh room right here that lovebot's in is actually really cool there's a lot of really cool strats here very scary when you miss a few in that stage because like <laughs> there are some backups in that last uh room but it makes it so messy it's right over lava. there's three yeah. backup fruits and they're all over lava and yeah if one of us died right there, we would have just waited for you in person because it's just like not, <laughs> not fun the, to the win that way. The problem with dying at the very like last part of the stage is that we obviously don't pick up any of the warp chain checkpoints. So if we die, you go all the way back to the beginning with only one flower petal on your heart or your health meter with no fruits left because you already ate all of them. So getting back to where the last fruit of the stage is can actually be incredibly difficult. Yeah, a lot of times it's easier just to pick up some safety health, especially in a situation like yep. this. So here in page three is uh, my personal favorite level, I think, what? during a speed run is, <laughs> is cloud okay. cruising. Uh, super, super cool level and a lot of really optimized movement. But uh, as you can tell from their reaction, not the funnest stage to actually speed run. Um, it gets pretty hectic and there's a lot of pretty intense um, tongue jumping. And if you noticed for them to get on that cloud, they kind of do an egg cancel. And so you do a tongue jump up and you press the trigger to bring your egg out and by releasing it you quit your flutter and it gives you a little extra height so you can land where you're not supposed to but if you miss it you fall and it's terrible oh nice save there from <laughs> rdv that was pretty close i caught that on time luckily <laughs> uh, i'm supposed to what's supposed to land on the green, green snake there and worth noting is if we fall down from these snakes uh, you basically have to go all the way back down to the trigger where they spawn otherwise they just won't be there Here's an example uh, on RDV's side and also soon on Lovebots where when you're super happy, all these shy guys come on the screen and you just turn them into fruit and it makes the level much, much quicker. Yeah, the, the any percent is definitely routed around these stages where you can do stuff like this uh, because it's just so much faster. You skip a huge portion, like half of this stage is being skipped by doing this. Here's uh, the first boss who's about to get licked up. <laughs> <laughs> the the cloud gets slurpy slurped. There is a quick kill right here. Uh, unfortunately, RDB missed it, but it, it, it's I a one lick, dude. One <laughs> lick. <laughs> it's, al close. it's always one lick, man. Always. But yeah, so uh, hopefully Love can get it here. Nope. Yeah, that that is uh, that actually some off. pretty good mashing that you have to have, and it's a specific position. But yep. good fights from both still. Yeah, that could have gone a lot worse for sure. Yeah, if you don't stop your momentum before doing the tongue jump, you might carry it into the boss and take damage, and then he jumps away from you, and it all goes haywire real quickly. 
There is a knockback as well that can be extremely frustrating if you make small move mis mistakes in those last two stages particularly. Getting knocked back in Blarg's boiler into lava or falling off a snake or anything like that. So Jungle Hut coming up here has gone through a multitude of route changes over the last five years. Um, there is a tough uh, melon strat here that they have sort of a gentleman's agreement upon to not go for. Um, same thing with uh, in Blarg's boiler. They decided if someone had accidentally fallen into the lava, they would wait just to keep the, the race a little more fun and close. But uh, I'm pretty much going to let you guys watch what they got going on right here because this stage is really cool and it it doesn't really have any movement tech we haven't discussed yet but um inside the huts movement is extremely important because when you get super happy there's these shy guys on stilts and your movement has to be really good for you to be able to actually get all the fruit to keep the level fast yeah, if you move a little bit too much to the side you despawn the fruits that were on the other side and yeah now you have to reroute had a kind of a sloppy first set there. <laughs> yeah, I missed one fruit in the uh, over overworld thing, uh, so I have to get one back up. But I know where to get one, so it's all good. Yeah, luckily the fruit routing in this level is such that you don't... Uh, it's a very vertically based level when you play it casually. There's multiple exits or entrances, however you look at it, on the left or the right. And there's like three tiers of stage vertically. This flower that you saw both of them swallow turns you into a giant egg. And uh, the way it's kind of designed is such that you fling it back and you just let it rip and you fly across stage bouncing off the sides of the screen. But uh, with smaller analog movement, you can actually control it. So it allows them to go up and get one of those hearts I was discussing earlier so that they can be in the correct levels. And actually, the way RDV does it, he does the uh, the quick shot, uh, but with a very precise aim, so he lands exactly where he needs to be and gets the heart, uh, which is, happens to be slightly bit faster. But also, if you miss the angle, much more unforgiving. Yeah, yeah. you gotta wait a certain amount of time for it to actually like fling you, and it's just very strange. <laughs> it's kind of hard to time. If you I gotta time it by forget feeling. to cancel it, and you fling all the way up to the top of the yeah, stage. Yeah, that's another that's thing that happens. Fun. <laughs> So the, the hearts that they picked up in that jungle hut are extremely important to the speed of this route because this Shy Guy Limbo stage is the only one on page 5 that isn't underwater. And it's actually a pretty quick stage with some cool movement jumping over the Shy Guy's Limbo sticks. My favorite stage, I think it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, if it goes well, it goes. It's, it looks really impressive. Yeah, if like you, this, this is really hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're making this look easy, but it definitely is not. Um, just from jumping to and from the Shy Guys, bouncing off of them, you can actually control your jump height. And the big thing is, if you hold jump too long, Yoshi goes into a flutter, so you lose time. Um, there's just so many options you have, and his movement is extremely floaty, so it's kind of difficult to actually control it. There is a, uh, a pretty cool heart pickup also where you you can use eggs to shoot heart pickups. Um, some people do it, some people don't. I guess it kind of depends on your position as well. But um, the limbo sticks here also are on a like a global timer as you go through the level. So if they keep the level as it is routed, then they shouldn't have any issue getting through those. Uh, this Lakitu at the end of the yeah. stage that RDV on is a monster. Yeah. And he throws this water down, and it you get stuck in it, and it can fling you back into pits. And much like Blarg's boiler, if you get flung back and you picked up a majority of the fruit, there's a few outliers here and there. But um, if you get stuck in that pit, it's a pretty big time loss and extremely frustrating. Just to confirm, right? I got to hit that one? That button for time? If I hit that one, I don't know. Is he number <laughs> one or number two? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I believe that you're number one, RDV. Okay. So it's crisscrossed. Yeah, so we are uh, actually coming up on page six here. And as you can tell, it is an amazing finale. The ghost castle uh, is one that is also routed from grabbing those hearts in stage five that is so much quicker. And it's based upon that being super happy that we saw earlier so that uh, you can take these mini boos and turn them into fruit and such a pain because it's just random luck where their position is at 
And I say that with kind of a grain of salt because not every single one of them is like that. They're all up, uh, up on the roof line, but there's a few that fly down at you. And depending on where they end up, you can uh, have to slow down, turn around. But RDV is coming into that room right now. So he's going to pick up a couple of fruit here, and you'll notice a discolored block. And uh, that's going to allow him to do a ground pound right here. That was actually really good. So now he's turned all these booze into grapes. That should do. That should do. And that's the thing. There's uh, more booze than fruit you actually need. So sometimes, depending on where they're at on screen... Um, you know, you might have enough right there. You may not. Also a good pickup from Love. So this Bowser Jr. fight is actually really interesting because you see that RDV had three eggs and he grabbed the he grabbed the heart to be super happy off the happy tree. So now that he is super happy, he doesn't actually need eggs to have explosions. Well done. Oh. Sub, <laughs> sub 12 for That's RDV. Really, really That's good. insane. That was really solid. <laughs> yeah, great fight. Can I split for you? Yeah, please. Yeah, and Lovebot's coming up. Same strat here, being super happy, and you can just have uh, invisible eggs explode. Time. Woo. Very nice. Very also nice. a very solid time for a marathon. This game is really dense and just super intense with inputs, as you might have been able to uh, see from the gameplay. Thank you. Oh, GG, dude. Yeah, great. Yeah, great thank run, you so guys. much, man. And thank you so much for the commentary. That that took a little bit off our shoulders for sure. Yeah, awesome. And yeah, if there's anything, uh, messages or anything we missed throughout the run, I know there wasn't a whole lot of time to uh, to ask for that, but <laughs> I, I guess it should be said also that uh, this is the true Yoshi game and the better speed run. For anybody <laughs> who's curious. <laughs> where's my Where's my <laughs> I'm gonna do something different. Oh, that works too. Ready? Thank you so much, man. Thank you, everybody. Great job, guys. Yeah. Glad we finally got uh, to be able to do a race. Yeah. Uh, fun fact, we basically started picking up this game around the same time, and if it wasn't for us to always being kind of close for it with our personal bests, I don't think we would have pushed nearly as hard, or at least no. I wouldn't have. We were constantly so, yeah. bobbing each other back and forth from two years ago, and so, this is basically the culmination right here. So For sure. I couldn't think of a better person I could have raced. Thank you so, so much, man. You I'm, I'm very glad that we finally got to be able oh. to do it in real life. So wholesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Um, any shoutouts we want to give? Uh, well, to the whole community, um, there's quite a few people by now. So, I mean, we can't uh, mention people by name. There's uh, Miri, who's now the new world record holder. Uh, Dan Salvato, who's been pioneering the game for the last many years. Um, right now we have Artemis. Um, who else are we missing? Green Snowdog. Green yeah. Snowdog, yeah, he was actually here. Sadly, he couldn't join us uh, for this. Uh, and I'm sure I'm missing a lot of people, but those are the ones that I, like, on top of my head are really active right now with the game. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much, everybody. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, I, that, that, yeah, I'm very happy with this time, sub-12 in a marathon run. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> that's very, a, that's very a, good. That's very a good, good, good. personal goal I got yeah. there. <laughs> that used to be, like, our goal. If we could just get a sub-12 on our PB, we would be ecstatic, so... Basically, how far the game has come. And for Rick, uh, what is your PB? 11... 1136, so it's not even that far off, PB. Yeah, and mine is a 48, so yeah. That's very good. Yes, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good marathon and uh, stay in the seats because there's plenty of other runs coming up, so yeah, that's it. <laughs>